Back in 1983, Goanna travelled on from Darwin to Mount Isa, where we met up with the crew truck to a string of amazing gigs starting in Cairns. From the tropics to the desert country, uh, everything was new and challenging and every Goanna gig was sold out and the crowds were pretty wildly enthusiastic. We had to sneak a whole lot of Murrays in through the stage door because of the dress code. (laughs) There was a lot of excitement around the Goanna gig. On the Goanna tour in 1983, we were still heading south and we got to the Gold Coast and there was a big mob of Aboriginal people, Murray's turned up after the gig and we had a great night, we were talking, laughing, and playing songs pretty late into the night because I think we had the next day off and uh, we nearly got kicked out of that hotel, I forget the name of it, it's probably just as well. The first time that Goanna got to play Brisbane was actually on the James Taylor tour in 1981 when we were opening for him. It was a pretty powerful experience at the old Festival Hall uh, in town. There have been many a great show in Brisbane since then and lots of great friendships forged over the years. In fact, Razor's Edge has part of its um, origins really in that great northern city. In 1983, after we played Cairns, Goanna continued on down the Bruce Highway to Townsville and we were interviewed by a young Gail Marbo, Eddie Marbo's daughter. It was still wet season and it was hot and sweaty and bucketing down rain everywhere we went. Goanna played the old Theatre Royal in Mackay to a very enthusiastic audience. Sadly, the old theatre's gone now. The next day, we kept heading south. Goanna on the big national tour in 1983 and we headed south from Mackay to Rockhampton to play the relatively new Pilbeam Theatre. The Fitzroy River was so swollen uh, it was threatening to spill over the banks and into town. There was a bit of uh, nervous energy around and uh, a good deal of anxious excitement at the gigs. There was a lot of love for the Goanna band on that tour. Goanna finally got to play Alice Springs. It was great to be playing to desert communities at last and it was as close as we got as a band to Uluru. That night we also met didgeridoo maestro David Hudson who came and offered to play for us. David went on to create the Jabagai Dance Theatre. Um, that was a fantastic night. The old drive-in I think is gone now but uh, what a night it was. Early in 1983 Goanna were on our first national tour and we're in Darwin playing to 5,000 people. The Spirit of Place and Solid Rock had been so successful, but we'd never played to so many Yongle people before. And when we sang Solid Rock, blackfellas and whitefellas were all singing along together at the top of their voices. It was a great, powerful moment. The winds of change were finally blowing in Australia. 